Now in Good Morning Northwest, just days after a judge sets a trial date in the University of Idaho murders case, we hear from the parents of one of the students killed. What they say about the court process, the gag order, and the upcoming trial. We're going to see a chance of showers really into the mountains. Uh, we're going to see cloud cover this morning. Things get uh, sunny and then hot. The timing on that coming your way. And a historic ruling by the U.S. Supreme Court over whether a president has immunity for prosecution, what it means for future presidents, and former President Donald Trump as he navigates more impending criminal trials. You're watching Good Morning Northwest on 4 News Now. So glad you're starting your day with us. I'm Robin Nance. Natalie has the morning off. It is Tuesday, July 2nd. Let's get right to Mark in our first alert forecast. And we're starting off really, really nice. Yeah, beautiful temper uh, temperatures into the mid 50s. I'll get this all out. Uh, we've got some cloud cover. We're going to have uh, fewer clouds later on today. And uh, again, it's going to be very nice, but breezy at times. Uh, 55 is our current condition. It's pretty nice. Now, here's a look at the four things we want you to know. Mountain thunderstorms today. We still see some energy up into Canada. 80s all the way through the 4th of July, albeit upper 80s for the 4th of July, a weekend heat wave, and then a long dry spell coming our way. Right now, we do see through our satellite and radar the cloud cover and the rain showers that are in the Rockies of Montana, but we see just to the north of us that energy coming out of Canada is this low, still making a slow exit, and it's dragging with it that energy that will create those showers later on today. 54 into Deer Park, 56 into Liberty Lake, 58 downtown, 56 into Post Falls. Everybody is relatively mild. Uh, Cheney almost chilly, I mean, 45 degrees there. Uh, we're all going to warm up. It's all going to be very nice. We're going to have more sunshine after these clouds exit. But again, breezy conditions today with a high of 80 degrees. Mark, thanks. Well, now that a major Supreme Court ruling has granted former President Trump broad immunity from prosecution, the multiple criminal cases he faces are up in the air. As the former president celebrates, President Biden is drawing sharp contrast, saying the decision emboldens Trump to do whatever he wants, especially if he regains power. ABC's M. Wynn has the latest now from Washington, D.C. This morning, Donald Trump taking a victory lap after the U.S. Supreme Court ruled presidents have broad immunity from prosecution both during and after leaving office. The decision upends special counsel Jack Smith's January 6th case against Trump. The court, in a rather complicated way, carved out various levels of immunity that a president might enjoy. Those levels, Chief Justice John Roberts wrote, include the president's commander-in-chief powers, pardon power, hiring and firing federal officials, and more. Roberts went further, saying he is entitled to presumptive immunity, and that in dividing official from unofficial conduct, courts may not inquire into the president's motives. In other words, it's going to be very challenging for Jack Smith to win the argument that everything alleged in the indictment is an unofficial act. Justice Sonia Sotomayor delivering a blistering dissent, writing the decision reshapes the institution of the presidency, puts the president above the law. Citing the new decision, Trump has moved to also overturn his recent hush money conviction in New York, despite the case being centered around business records allegedly falsified while Trump was still a candidate in 2016. President Biden condemned the conservative 6-3 majority decision and vowed not to abuse the redefined powers granted to his position, but asked voters if they believe Trump will do the same if re-elected. American people must decide. They want to entrust the president once again, the presidency to Donald Trump, now knowing he'll be even more emboldened to do whatever he pleases whenever he wants to do it. In his hush money case, Trump's lawyers are now asking the judge to allow them to challenge the verdict, which, if allowed, would delay Trump's sentencing set for next week. M. Wynn, ABC News, Washington. A bit of good news for the Biden campaign this morning. After days of trying to break concerns about President Biden's age and viability, the campaign announced it raised $127 million in June. The campaign says it was the best month of the cycle. It now has $240 million in cash on hand, up from $212 million last month. Nearly two-thirds of June's haul came from grassroots donations. Trump's political operation outraised the Biden campaign in April and May, receiving a flood of donations after his criminal conviction. The trial for the accused killer of four University of Idaho students is set to begin two and a half years after the murders. Judge John Judge of Latah County has tentatively scheduled the trial to start in June 
2025. The parents of Kaylee Gonzalez talked with our Hunter Bertram about the potential foreclosure at the end of this long journey. Happy is just not the word. I mean, it's hard to say you're happy, but, um, you know, I'm grateful. Emotions manifest as the long-anticipated yeah. trial date is set for the man accused of their daughter's murder. Well, we do look forward to the court date because then I feel like as a family we truly can heal and we can. Oh, I look forward to, I don't look, I, I look forward to... It being uh, over. It being over, very much so. Christy and Steve Gonsalves tell me every step towards justice brings hope in an emotional battleground of trauma. I'm thankful that we have a date and that we have something that we could get to and that we're moving forward. I do wish it was a lot sooner because our lives, um, it, it just, they're on hold. Lives on hold, wondering what happened to their daughter in her final moments. It's, it's infuriating. It's, yeah. If anyone deserves to know what happened to the last you know, moments of their child, it's the parents. A court-issued gag order has kept them in the dark. It's just wrong to be shut out of your own child's life. It's, it's not a good feeling. Yeah, and, and we'll learn in trial when everybody else does. You know, which is, is really hard. And if the court date keeps on schedule, the Gonsalves family and those who are following the case will eagerly anticipate the revelation of the truth. Like, I don't think people realize that this is, this is, this is real. You know, a movie. this is not a movie. This is not a story. Having this date is a beacon of hope in an ongoing nightmare. I am, I have always just really based, um, so much of my feelings and whatnot on dates, court dates that we've had, and even the smallest movement in those court dates that we've had for even the smallest emotions and whatnot, just really, um, I kind of lose it. In North Idaho, Hunter Bertram, 4 News Now. And we are still waiting to find out if the judge will move the murder trial out of Latah County. The next hearing on that is set for August. Law enforcement is searching for these two women who escaped prison. The Idaho Department of Correction says Sarah Zumwalt and Katie Buchanan were last seen Sunday night around quarter till nine at the prison. They are both convicted of drug offenses in Kootenai County and had about four years left of their sentences. Anyone who knows where they are should call 911. Spokane police arrested a man for a drive-by shooting and assault in a domestic violence incident. The department says Saturday night, 23-year-old Harlan Karras got in an argument with his girlfriend and her family in East Spokane. Police say Karras, from inside a car, fired a shot at people outside the house and drove away. And there were children in the house at the time. The bullet didn't hit anyone. Karras is in the Spokane County Jail on multiple charges. 29th Avenue construction on Spokane South Hill appears to be wrapping up. The repaving project started in April, but take a look at this. All lanes on 29th Avenue near the Lincoln Heights shopping center are open. The construction caused major congestion and significant delays in that area for weeks. But we're not in the clear just yet. 29th Avenue is still down to one lane each way from Southeast Boulevard to Arthur West of the shopping center. It is quite a mess up there, hopefully. We're um, seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. It is now 6.08. Let's check in with Mark again. And we're seeing um, uh, heat up coming our way. Big so, time. Dry conditions through the weekend. But this is the week after where we're going to continue to be hot and dry. So our fire danger is moderate now, climbing to high over the weekend and will probably remain that way for the next couple of weeks. So we're going to talk about the heat wave coming our way. And that's coming up in just a couple of minutes. This summer, there are a few changes a Vista customers should be aware of. I have the full breakdown coming up on Good Morning Northwest. And after 16 years, we are seeing sealed grand jury records in the Jeffrey Epstein case. What they reveal up next on Good Morning Northwest. Livestream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. Elevate your summer with cash back checking and savings accounts from Canopy Credit Union. With an incredible 6.17 annual percentage yield on your first $25,000 in your checking account and a generous 4.07 annual percentage yield on your first $50,000 in your savings, you can potentially earn over $3,500 a year. Level up your finances this summer. Canopy Credit Union. Here you grow. Limits and conditions apply. This is our call to inaction to answer the call of the recliner. We're getting takeout because we've been out all day long. 
It's the Lazy Boy 4th of July sale. Save 30% on everything. Lazy Boy. Long live the lazy. Bill or grill on a new deck from PAR this season. Get a free Makita Bluetooth radio or portable pellet grill with a qualifying PAR deck package purchase of wood, timber tech, or treks. Visit PAR.com for details. PAR, go where the builders go. What are you going to build? I got help to push back. I got help to push back. Libaldi helps us push back against Bipolar 1. One Steli Prescription Libaldi is proven to treat manic or mixed episodes of Bipolar 1 in adults to help you push back. Elderly patients with dementia have increased risk of death or stroke. Do not take Libaldi if you are taking opioids or are in opioid withdrawal. The semidorphin in Libaldi can cause severe opioid withdrawal that can lead to hospitalization or increased risk of life-threatening overdose. Get emergency help if you have trouble breathing, become very drowsy with slowed or shallow breathing, feel faint, very dizzy or confused, or have a fever, stiff muscles, rash, swollen glands, or problems with your liver, kidneys, heart, or lungs. Other serious side effects may include high cholesterol, weight gain, potentially fatal high blood sugar, uncontrolled body movements, which may be permanent, dizziness upon standing or falls. Are you ready? Ask your doctor about Libaldi. Looking for copay savings? For info, text copay to 45286. Four News Now is brought to you by Shriners Children's Spokane, the most amazing care anywhere. Your time is approaching 612. Here's a look at what's new on Good Morning Northwest. New concerns this morning about the search for an American woman missing in the Bahamas for nearly two weeks. 41-year-old Taylor Casey was last seen June 19th while attending a yoga retreat on Paradise Island. Her mom, Colette Seymour, traveled to the retreat last week and now says her visit was deeply unsettling. She says she had to beg to talk to students at the retreat and says it felt like the students were told what to say and what not to say. Seymour says she saw no missing person posters. Families pleading for more support from the U.S. government. Grand jury records in the Jeffrey Epstein case were kept secret for 16 years until now. Florida lawmakers passed a bill to unseal them. The transcripts reveal prosecutors from the Alm Beach State Attorney's Office repeatedly questioned and accused underage victims of committing crimes. Two dozen high school aged girls, one as young as 14, testified how Epstein paid them for massages at his mansion, but sexually abused them repeatedly. Two were raped. Meanwhile, prosecutors seemed to brush off Epstein's own criminal behavior. He served just 13 months on work release in this particular case. Beryl, now a Category 5 hurricane, has caused one death in the Caribbean island today. Beryl continues to smash records as it kicks off an exceptionally early hurricane season. It's the earliest Category 5 hurricane on record and only the second Atlantic storm of such strength to be recorded this early. It's expected to impact Haiti and the Dominican Republic beginning today. Government officials have also activated national disaster response protocols in Jamaica, where water levels may rise five feet above normal tide levels. All right, good Tuesday morning, your 10 second takeaway. Sunny, warm today, uh, more sunshine than yesterday, by the way. It'll be a breezy afternoon with gusts to 20 miles an hour, so grab those shades and keep the umbrella down. 80 the high today. Vandals cost thousands of dollars in damage to Auntie's bookstore downtown. On your screen, you can see the aftermath of the vandalism. Last Tuesday, someone smashed out a huge window. We spoke with Auntie's owner, John Wade, who believes a group of teens might be responsible, but he's relieved no one was hurt. And no blood, no bodies, no body parts. So that was good. Yep, nobody actually came in. Uh, the books were right next to the window and nobody stole anything, so that was nice. Wait mentioned that in the past five years, there, have been a, there has been a case of a smashed window almost every year. Taking this into account, he made the call to upgrade to tempered glass for the large windows in order to protect both his employees and the vandals. Good morning, Northwest Time is now approaching 6.15. Avista has a new prevention plan during times of high wildfire danger. It could mean you lose power for a time. Allison Martinez up next with what you need to know and how you can learn more about the mitigation plan from the power company itself later today.
And as we take you to a commercial break, we give you a live look at the Spokane River. A gorgeous morning. This is what your Tuesday looks like. We'll be right back with more Good Morning Northwest. Par, family owned since 1930. Go where the builders go. What are you going to build? Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. Honeymoon phase over already, huh? You know, these things normally take a while to figure out. and these kind of We get you compensated fairly and only get paid after you win. One call, that's all. 509-999-9999. Hey, honey, I hear that Eagle Rock RV and boat storage can accommodate all of our storage needs. Yeah, and all indoor units are powered with lighting and plug-ins to keep our RV and boat batteries charged. And you know what I love? The extra wide driveways. It makes it easy to move around. And I love their motto, protect and preserve. And they use a state-of-the-art security system with awesome customer service. And they're staffed seven days a week for indoor and outdoor storage access. Eagle Rock RV and boat storage. All, all the, the fun, fun you, you can, can fit, fit in the summer. summer. Call or click today to check out their units. Frozen is Disney's latest hit Broadway musical. From the producer of The Lion King comes the show audiences and critics are melting for. Coming to First Interstate Center for the Arts, July 24th through August 4th. Tickets at broadwayspokane.com. What makes a Subaru certified pre-owned vehicle better than an average vehicle? It starts with longevity. 97% of Subaru vehicles sold in the last 10 years are still on the road today. Every certified pre-owned Subaru gets a 152-point inspection where anything that doesn't meet our high standards is repaired or replaced. If you're in the market for a Subaru, don't compromise on quality or affordability. Come see our huge selection of vehicles and receive your no-problem customer service at Parker Subaru in beautiful Coeur d'Alene. Welcome to Wonders of the World. Come feel the magic inside. Fascinating and powerful crystals from the dawn of time. Incredible natural wonders and prehistoric artifacts. And talk about magic, you should come to Fantasyland. Thousands of pieces of fabulous jewelry and literally millions of beads. Remarkable, astonishing, and whimsical. Come visit Wonders of the World. There's magic inside and you can take some home. My name's Matt Dillon, I'm the Marshal. Memorable Westerns. That's what we've been looking for. Watch weekdays on MeTV 4.2. Do you want to close out? Should I? Normally I'd hold, but taking the gains is smart here. Right? Feel more confident with stock ratings from J.P. Morgan Analysts in the Chase app. When you've got a decision to make, the answer is J.P. Morgan Wealth Management. Good morning and welcome back. It is now 617. Avista has a new strategy for wildfire season and it could mean more power outages. The utility company recently announced new power shutoffs to protect against fire threats. 4 News Now's Allison Martinez in studio sharing how you can get all of your questions on this topic answered today. This summer, Avista has two new strategies it's bringing to the table. Both could mean more power outages, but they are meant to keep you safer in the event of fire weather. First, if a power outage occurs, a line won't automatically re-energize. Instead, an Avista employee will come out to make sure there isn't a fire risk before turning power back on. The second strategy is called a public safety power shutoff. Avista says that if extreme weather conditions are forecasted, like low humidity and strong winds, it will turn off power to protect against fire risk. A common misconception about this new program is that it will mean rolling blackouts for entire communities at a time. According to Avista, this is not the case. For example, if National Weather Service issues a red flag warning across our region, which is often very, very wide, we have the ability to take all of that information in and, and understand the impacts at a circuit level to try to be very surgical in our approach to when we would actually proactively de-energize. In the event that Avista shuts off your power to help with wildfire risk, they will have community resource centers open where you can cool off and have access to food, water, and electricity. This announcement has already sparked conversation both online and in person. If you have any questions at all, you can direct them to Avista during its telephone town hall tonight at 6 p.m. Reporting in studio, Allison Martinez for News Now. Allison, thanks so much. Here is a live look this morning. There are some clouds in our skies up there, but overall, really nice. We're going to see fewer clouds today than we had yesterday. And uh, yeah, just we couldn't get out of them. So 
um, we are going to be talking about, again, the very dry weather that uh, is going to continue. Yeah, and that's causing a burn ban. It begins today in Spokane County. It means the unauthorized burning and unauthorized recreational fires are restricted. Yeah. Um, that or... Um, until the order is lifted, we'll tell you all about that when that happens. But right now, it's it's going to hold steady because we have a hot streak, dry streak coming up. Not only through the weekend, but for the next couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we really want everyone to be very careful. If you're camping, sometimes it's only the propane fires that are allowed. you got to check wherever you mm -hmm. go camping, yeah. uh, whichever county you're in. All right, let's talk about what's going on. This dome of high pressure is coming in, and it's going to continue to uh, run and rule the West as we see the hot start to July. That's going to be the trend, and that heat is going to continue to move inland. Already, heat watches and warnings into California, and it's only going to get hotter as that system continues to make its way through. So we look at our day hour by hour, and we're going to see fewer clouds mid-morning, but we're going to see the winds really start to pick up uh, this afternoon. Those are sustained winds to 14, 15 miles an hour, gust to 20, 25. We'll have more on that coming up. But a high today of around 80, and we're going to hold on to that from about 2 o'clock in the afternoon all the way to 7 o'clock. So it's going to be a long, warm spell. The heat is on for the South Central and Gulf Coast states. Also for the West Coast and all of that heat, this big dome is going to continue to move through with some severe weather into areas south of the Great Lakes. For us, it's going to be mountain showers. We have some energy up into Canada that that's going to trigger those mountain showers but should stay out of our area. Here are the winds that I wanted to show you. So we see these really starting to gust this afternoon after lunch, taking us through dinner time and then overnight with gusts to 30 miles an hour around 9, 10 o'clock. And then we'll see tomorrow morning, they'll start to really calm down and then the heat continues. So on Wednesday will be 82 degrees, just a touch above average. Fourth of July, 87 degrees, going to be sunny, going to be hot, going to be a gorgeous day. But then we're into the 90s, Friday 92, and then mid to upper 90s, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. So we want everyone to hydrate and really get ready for the heat. Wow. And the dry conditions that are coming our way. My goodness. And I love your Ricky Rocket. He's dancing away, yeah. knowing that no one's going to light him off. It's illegal. It's, yeah, you can't do that. <laughs> Don't do it. It's now 622. What was a comfortable 10-game lead in the AL West just two weeks ago is now only a three-game lead following their loss to the Twins last night. What's the cause of this dramatic shift for the M's? We'll tell you. Come on up next in sports. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. I love you just the way God Don't miss Parmalee, contemporary country hitmakers, live Thursday, September 12th. Visit cdacasino.com to buy your tickets now and check out the full Core Stars lineup. Winning is just the beginning. Sate Bistro Cordelaine's culinary extravaganza of American fusion dining. From our extensive wine cellar to our unforgettably decadent menu, we'll move your experience beyond ordinary to the extraordinary. Sate Bistro, just off the 4th Street exit in Coeur d'Alene. Choose Advil Liquid Gels for faster, stronger, and longer-lasting relief than Tylenol Rapid Release Gels. Because Advil targets pain at the source of inflammation. So for faster pain relief, Advil the pain away. Hi, I'm Chris with Tactical Plumbing. We're a well-known, locally-owned company with a great reputation with our customers. While the new housing boom stays strong, we are excited to announce that we are growing our company to provide homeowners with our precision services. Tactical Plumbing has over 30 years of combined experience, and we are now booking residential service and repair. Tactical Plumbing providing our community with carefully planned and strategically executed plumbing solutions. Call us or visit our website today for all of your plumbing needs. Watch KXLY Plus over the air on KXLY ABC4. Live updates, breaking news, weather every 10 minutes from the 4 News Now team. Get up to date on the information you need in just an hour. Weekdays at 11 a.m. and 4 p.m. over the air on KXLY ABC4. I was so excited to buy my first home, but I needed a lot of work done on it. I went on to Angie. Jamie was the first person to call. He's resurfaced my flooring. He's done plumbing work. He's refinished this beautiful table here. Find top-rated certified pros in your area at Angie.com. Hi, I'm Doug Trudeau with Trudeau's Marina. It's summertime. It's time to get out on the water and experience the fun of boating. We have a huge selection of new boats to choose from. Find the best fit for you and your family at Trudeau's Marina. All our boats are powered by Mercruiser. So if you're in the market for a boat, 
Come in and see us at Trudeau's Marina in downtown Spokane. I love you just the way God Don't miss Parmalee, contemporary country hitmakers, live Thursday, September 12th. Visit cdacasino.com to buy your tickets now and check out the full Core Stars lineup. The winning is just the beginning. Just two weeks ago, the Seattle Mariners held a 10-game lead in the AL West. Fast forward to today, and that lead has shrunk to just three. And with a couple of tough series upcoming, they will figuratively and quite literally be limping into the All-Star break. Now, while the pitching staff has been a bit banged up at the moment, the main culprit of the struggles continues to be the offense. In the last seven days, Seattle batters are only hitting 174 as a team, while they've only driven in 18 runs during that time. And now the Mariners have dropped four series in a row, capped off with a lousy performance over the weekend against the Twins, which saw them touch home base just seven times in three days. And then you look at the series how it played out. You're right there with them. They got a couple big home runs uh, late in games, and that uh, was the deciding factor uh, in this series. So, again, it's a team that uh, you know, we match up um, uh, very similar teams. Um, you know, obviously they got uh, some big hits in this series, bigger ones than we did. And Monday marked the end of an era for former Washington State Cougar and Golden State Warrior Clay Thompson as he signed with the Dallas Mavericks. The 13-year NBA veteran won four championships with the Warriors and was named to five All-Star games and two All-NBA teams during that period. But after a series of injuries slowed him down during the last few years, Golden State decided to move on as he tested the free agency waters. Now, the former Coug is going to be getting paid quite a bit, reportedly making $50 million dollars over the next three years and in a statement by the Warriors front office they thanked him for his contributions to the franchise and say they look forward to the day they can retire his number 11 inside Chase Center reporting in studio I'm Alex Crescenti for News Now Sports yeah, it'll be strange seeing him in a Dallas uniform it is now 627 as we go to break here's your first look at what's coming up on Good Morning America starting at 7. In this morning's GMA First Look, Jamie Foxx sharing more details about his medical emergency that landed him in the hospital last year. April 11th last year, bad headache. Asked my boy for a half day. He's gone for 20 days. I don't remember anything. The Academy Award winning actor and comedian speaking to a group of fans in Phoenix, Arizona over the weekend. So they told me, I'm in Atlanta, they told me my sister and my daughter took me to the first doctor. It seems like Jamie is kind of still trying to process exactly what happened to him. So what's next for Jamie Foxx as he opens up about his health complication? We'll have much more coming up at 7 a.m. With your GMA First Look, I'm Mike Ajachi, ABC News, New York. COPD isn't pretty. I'm out of breath and often out of the picture. But this is my story. And with one Staley Trilogy, it can still be beautiful. Because with three medicines and one inhaler, Trilogy keeps my airways open for a full 24 hours and prevents future flare-ups. Trilogy also improves lung function, so I can breathe more freely all day and night. Trilogy won't replace a rescue inhaler for sudden breathing problems. Tell your doctor if you have a heart condition or high blood pressure before taking it. Do not take Trilogy more than prescribed. Trilogy may increase your risk of thrush, pneumonia, and osteoporosis. Call your doctor if worsen breathing, chest pain, mouth or tongue swelling, problems urinary vision changes or eye pain occur what a wonderful world. <laughs> ask your doctor about one daily trilogy for COPD because breathing should be beautiful all day and night live stream KXLY plus on the 4 news now app Save your green! the right window shade can do more than just cover a window imagine Shades that light up to illuminate dark spaces. Shades that adjust automatically for the best lighting or privacy. Shades that improve energy efficiency for lower utility bills. All with legendary Hunter Douglas quality for style that lasts. 
Hunter Douglas. Shades like no other. This year, set your summer off right at Northern Quest with the region's premier 4th of July celebration. We've lined up a full evening of family-friendly fun at VECU Live with music, local food trucks, and carnival activities for the kids, plus an exciting drone and fireworks display. So get the whole family and join us for one unforgettable night. Admission is free. Festivities start at 4, drone show and fireworks at 10. Details at northernquest.com. You know, if you were cash back and you could earn on everything with just one card, Chase Freedom Unlimited. So if you're off the racking or crab cracking, you're cash backing. Cash back on flapjacks, baby backs, or tacos at the Taco Shack. Nah, uh, I'm working on my six pack. Switch to a king suite. Or book a silent retreat. Silent retreat? Oh, hold up. Yeah, I can't talk right now. I'm at a silent retreat. Cash back on everything you buy with Chase Freedom Unlimited with no annual fee. How do you cash back? Chase, make more of what's yours. From 4 News Now, this is Good Morning Northwest. Good morning, Northwest. I'm Robin Nance. Thanks for starting your day with us. It is Tuesday, July 2nd. Let's check out our first alert forecast with Mark. And the mornings of sweatshirts for me are coming to an end as temperatures starting off in the mid-50s. We got some blue sky cloud cover. More blue sky than yesterday today. It's 58 in the Coeur d'Alene. Here's a look at the four things we want you to know. Uh, some mountain thunderstorms later on today. We'll show you where the energy is. 80s all the way through the 4th of July. The weekend heat wave that's coming in, it's going to be the hottest weather we've seen this year, and that will start a long dry spell. We'll have a continuation of, uh, again, some clouds on the move. We do have some scattered showers still remaining into parts of Montana, but it's up into Canada where we see that energy making a run southeast, crossing over the northeast corner of the state, triggering some more showers later on today before that, that energy finally moves out of our area. Um, waking up, I mean, 54 in Deer Park, 57 into the valley, uh, 58, Hayden, Idaho, good morning. Uh, everything's looking pretty good. Sunshine, going to be a great day. Here's a look at the forecast for the day. We are going to see clouds through mid-morning. It's going to be sunny, temperatures warming up, and then hovering around 80 degrees all afternoon long. Mark, thanks so much. Topping this half hour in the race for president, more Democrats are questioning whether President Biden needs to be replaced at the top of the ticket after his debate performance last week. ABC's M. Wynn reports. This morning, more top Democrats are openly voicing concern about President Biden's future as the party's nominee. I think, uh, like a lot of people, I was pretty horrified. Rhode Island Senator Sheldon Whitehouse now seeking reassurances that the Biden campaign is being forthcoming about the president's mental acuity. I think people want to make sure that this is a campaign that's ready to go and win, that the president and his team are being candid with us about his condition, that this was a real anomaly uh, and not just the way he is these days. Well, the debate performance uh, was rough. Uh, it was a very bad night. Uh, for the president, uh, but he is uh, still the candidate. Uh, only he can make decisions about his future candidacy. First Lady Jill Biden, speaking to Vogue magazine about the debate, said they will not let those 90 minutes define the four years he's been president. We will continue to fight, adding that President Biden will always do what's best for the country. The campaign trying to shut down any talk of the president dropping out, saying that would lead to chaos. The campaign also sharing internal poll numbers with donors, claiming to show the president's favorability ratings in battleground states unchanged after the debate. M. Wynn, ABC News, Washington. The White House has said the president will be out in public more and will give more interviews this summer, although at the White House last night, he did not take questions from reporters. Lawyers for Donald Trump want to challenge the former president's conviction in his hush money trial now that the Supreme Court has issued its ruling on presidential immunity. Sources say a letter filed with New York Judge Juan Marchand seeks permission to file a motion to challenge the verdict. If Marshawn allows Trump to file the motion, it could delay the former president's sentencing set for next week. Sources say prosecutors did not file the sentencing submission on Monday as expected. The district attorney's office has not commented. In May, a jury convicted Trump of 34 felony counts for falsifying business records in his hush money case. In Spokane, three men face federal drug charges in a drug bust that revealed 68,000 fentanyl pills. The U.S. Attorney's Office says DEA agents searching two cars in a house found the fentanyl, pounds of meth, 
cocaine, heroin, bags of cash, and multiple firearms. The three men were all charged with conspiracy to distribute meth and fentanyl. A number of people rallied outside of North Idaho libraries in opposition to a new law that requires libraries to review and remove books from the kids section that are deemed harmful to minors. About 20 people protested in front of the Coeur d'Alene Library yesterday as the law went into effect. There were also rallies outside of Post Falls Library, Hayden Library and more in North Idaho. The goal to educate the community on what this new law means. People held signs like these, many saying they weren't only rallying in opposition of the new law, but also in support of the local libraries that they believe are under attack. If libraries do not follow this law, they can be sued for $250 for each occurrence. These libraries are educated professionals. They don't need to be putting up with ideology. That's an infringement of my freedom and my tax dollars to go to fight those fines. Our libraries can potentially be fined to not comply with those requests. One local grandmother who enjoys taking her grandkids to the library told 4 News Now that she is in favor of this law. She says it makes her feel more comfortable allowing her grandchildren to browse the kids section, knowing that library staff have to listen to the community's requests. New morning show hosts are coming to 92.9 ZZU. Oh, you know what the my squat gosh. test is, right? Yeah, I know what the squat you, test you is. Bend over. Sure. The Joey and Lauren show starts on ZZU next Monday. The duo will replace longtime favorites Dave Ken and Molly, whose show was canceled a little more than a week ago. Bosses blame the decision on the economics of radio, but it caused a whole lot of anger. Our newsroom took lots of calls from people who said they would never listen again. ZZU hopes the Joey and Lauren show changes your mind. The two grew up in Post Falls listening to KZZU and even went on their first date to Silverwood. They've been on their, our sister station, KEZE, since January of 2023. It's just not the same in this place without Dave, Ken, and Molly, though. Uh, it is now 6.37 on the nose. All right. Uh, 80s music, great. Uh, 80s temperatures, wonderful. Mm -hmm. 90s coming our way. Wow. And that's going to be for the weekend near 100. So really talking about this hotter weather coming in, we really want you to pay attention to it. We're going to have a full check of your forecast coming up. Do you take a daily aspirin? Why a new study says millions of people may be doing so unnecessarily. We'll talk about it when Good Morning Northwest continues. Connect with 4 News Now on KXLY+. Regular visits to your local Perfection Tire can ensure your car's safety and dependability. With factory recommended maintenance, you increase your fuel efficiency as well as maintain your vehicle's value. Nobody beats perfection. I have a love for design and here at Wallflowers, I am the window treatment specialist. If you have needs for window shades or drapery or anything that can help enhance your home, please come in and visit us. I came to Wallflowers for the opportunity to help customers find ways to renovate and update their home and love the space that they live in. We offer multiple discounts year round. It's gratifying to have customers come in and tell us about the new products that they have and their enthusiasm for the new look and the new update. It's been 20 years since Toyota launched the world's first mass-produced hybrid vehicle, the Toyota Prius. And today, Parker Toyota's inventory is filled with hybrids like the RAV4, Highlander, and Tundra. Plus, the all-new Grand Highlander and Tacoma. Whether you're heading up the mountain or hauling kids around town, Parker Toyota's selection of hybrids are designed to move you quicker and travel further with fewer trips to the pump. See our huge selection of hybrids built for the everyday driver at Parker Toyota in Coeur d'Alene or visit parkertoyota.com. Good morning. Thank you for calling Mainstream Electric Heating, Cooling, and Plumbing. How may I help you today? I'm having some problems with my air conditioner. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. What sort of problem? Well, it, it, it's making a clingity, clingity, clunk. <laughs> Sound. Oh, no worries. We can certainly take care of that for you. Here at Mainstream Electric Heating, Cooling, and Plumbing, we speak your language. My name is Stevie, and I work for my dad, Steve Stakowski, at SGX Jet Boats here in Orfino, Idaho, where we specialize in a shallow water aluminum jet boat. For us, it's more than just business, it's a legacy. You realize that it's all worth it because you're starting to see everything come to fruition. All of the hard work has paid off, and P1FCU is able to provide us with that security in knowing that our legacy is safe with them. 
Shopping for quality tires, but afraid you're paying too much? You'll find you can trust Perfection Tire for the best deals on Cooper Tires and other top quality brands. Save even more with Cooper Tire rebates going on now. Nobody beats perfection. Welcome back. It's now 640. For years, it's been thought that taking a daily aspirin can help you fight against cardiovascular disease. That recommendation changed about five years ago, but a new study shows millions of people are still taking a daily aspirin. If you have heart disease, oftentimes aspirin is required and stopping aspirin without the doctor's advice is dangerous. But if you're taking aspirin in the absence of heart disease, it's something that no one's advised you to do uh, and you're 60 years or older, it's time to have a discussion. Disclose that to your doctor. The American Heart Association says aspirin should be used infrequently to prevent a first heart attack or stroke for those with no history of cardiovascular disease. Aspirin is a blood thinner, so it affects platelet function, so it affects clotting and increases the risk of bleeding. Doctors say since aspirin is an over-the-counter medication, many people don't even think to tell their doctor they're taking it, but they say you need to talk to your doctor about it. No, almost every day. Uh, good morning, everybody. I hope you're having a fine start. 10 second takeaway on your screen. Mostly sunny. It's going to be a warm day today, but the hot weather is coming. Oh, also a breezy afternoon with gusts to 30 miles an hour. Grab your shades. The sun's out. 80 for the high. As social media continues to play a big part in our lives, some states are taking new steps to protect child influencers. Illinois law will now require families to, of content creators to put a portion of their earnings into a blocked trust fund for their children if they are featured in the online videos. This protection is similar to those of child actors. It's really the same fight in a slightly different form as the fight to impose child labor laws. How do we make sure that children have a safe and healthy childhood when everywhere they go, there is money to be made in exploiting one part or another about them. Other states are following in Illinois' lead. The children can access their fund when they turn 18. Good morning, Northwest Time is now 642. This wildfire season could bring changes to your home. A Vista customers, this summer you could see longer and more frequent power outages. I'll tell you the reasons why coming up on Good Morning Northwest. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. Wow. Honeymoon phase over already, huh? You know, these things normally take a while to figure out, and these kind of... Let's just settle this whole ordeal right now. We get you compensated fairly and only get paid after you win. With Crux Swap & Associates, it's always one call, that's all. 509-999-9999. We are Spokane Wellness Group. We are a provider of semaglutide, which is a medication that has been helping people lose weight and achieve their goals of being healthy. I wanted to know, what can this drug do for me if I don't change anything? So I've lost 65 pounds. We're trying to make it so everyday people can buy it and reap the benefits from that, because there are a lot of benefits from this medication, especially for people who are overweight. We'll be here for you. We want to help people. Not the best sound to start your day with, is it? Your next decision should be to call Precision. Our professionally trained technicians are here to provide you with award-winning service every time. Our trucks are rolling warehouses, so we can get you back up and running fast. Need a new door? We do that too. And right now, get a new garage door, Wi-Fi opener, and remote combo installed for as low as $34 per month and up to $500 in cashback savings. Call or book online today. Life is an opportunity to grow, to feel, to excel. Life moves at its own pace, daring you to keep up. Life pushes you to be better and to go farther. Life has you here. We're just here to help.
4 News Now is brought to you by STCU and Volunteers Count. Good morning and welcome back. It's now quarter till seven. With fire weather getting more dangerous, Avista has a new plan to try and combat it. These strategies could mean your power is off longer and more frequently. 4 News Now's Allison Martinez shares what you need to know about these changes. Allison? This summer, there are two new strategies Avista customers should know about. Both could mean more power outages, but they also are meant to keep you safer in the event of fire weather. First, when a power outage occurs, the line won't automatically re-energize. Instead, an Avista employee will come out to make sure there isn't a fire risk before turning power back on. The second strategy is called a public safety power shutoff. The company says that if extreme weather conditions are forecasted, like low humidity and strong winds, it will turn off power to ensure public safety. However, this doesn't mean that every time you see a red flag warning, you can expect your power to be shut off. Avista says this will be much more rare than you may think. The, the scenario where a public safety power shutoff will actually occur is, is, is not an event that, that I would anticipate happening very frequently. It should be a very infrequent event. I would expect just looking at what, we, what we've seen, maybe a one in five, one year every five year we may have one single event. If your power does get shut off as part of this plan, Avista will have community resource centers open where you can cool off and have access to food, water, and electricity. This announcement has already sparked conversation both online and in person. If you have any questions, you can direct them to Avista during their telephone town hall tonight at 6 p.m. Reporting in studio, Allison Martinez for News Now. Allison, thanks so much. This is a live look at 29th and Southeast Boulevard. We've been talking about this construction up there for quite some time. Uh, a portion of 29th opened up to all the traffic. This section, though, is, you know, as you can see, close to uh, one lane in each direction. It gets pretty backed up. Yeah, and you can see a truck showing up with uh, more cones. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, no. You know, just they, to make sure. They pop up every <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> every hundred feet. It's <sighs> the the construction is crazy, especially north south. All it, over the place. Yeah, all Jeez. over the place. Yeah. All right. So let's talk about Mother Nature bringing in some windy conditions mm -hmm. at times today. We look at your hour by hour forecast. Again, we've got the morning clouds. We're going to be near 70 by 10 o'clock. We're starting to clear, but then by this afternoon, we're starting to see those winds sustained at 15 miles an hour, gust to 20, 25 potentially. But boy, it is going to heat up quickly. So we're going to be in the upper 70s at 1 o'clock, upper 70s all the way into and around dinner time. We're going to be hovering around 80, even at 7 o'clock, 79 degrees. So again, this is deck living for today and tomorrow. It's going to be absolutely beautiful. We'll see a continuation of hot weather into the deep south into the central plains and then also into the west coast so these are heat watch warnings and advisories all across the board we had the heat in new england now they're cooling down they're going to be in the 80s but we're going to see this weather really pop up and severe weather on the northern edge of this heat that continues to move in so that dome truly now building into the southwest and it's affecting areas all the way north into parts of Oregon. So we're right on the northern edge of that dome, but we're going to start to see it move over us as we get into the weekend and then beyond. It's going to be very stationary and it's going to hang out for a good long time. For our forecast radar, mountain showers coming through later on today. Again, Wednesday, we could see the remnants of what's left of that low slowly moving in Canada. So that could trigger a few off showers that'll be from Bonners Ferry all the way to Sandpoint into Kellogg. And then moving out Thursday should be high and dry for us. Still some energy into parts of Montana for the 4th of July. We're expecting to see high and dry weather from that point on. The forecast winds, yeah, we're going to see those fire up today, 2 o'clock. That's going to, uh, again, gust to 30 miles an hour all the way in through tonight and into tomorrow morning, and then it really calms down and things look pretty good. We're going to have temperatures around 80 degrees today, 77 into St. Mary's, upper 70s into the Palouse. We're going to see temperatures warm up Thursday to 87, low 90s Friday, and then over the weekend, mid to upper 90s, nearing 100 degrees. Now, I want to give you this snapshot real quick. Here are our, you can see the white line is an average high for this time of year. Look at what happens on next Tuesday, a week from today. <gasps> Forecasted 99 degrees. So the heat's going to be here. It's going to be a real thing, and we want people to be prepared. Okay.
Mark, thanks a bunch. You bet. Oof. It is now 10 minutes before the hour. Your morning sprint's coming up next. Thanks for waking up with Good Morning Northwest on your Tuesday morning. <laughs> Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. 4 News Now is brought to you by All Wheels Swap Meet, July 6th and 7th. Expect even more from KXLY Plus. Live updates from the 4 News Now team. Breaking news as it happens. Weather every 10 minutes. Free on your time. Download the app, connect to your streaming TV, and connect on KXLY Plus. Pelican, the water wizard of ah. Uh... This is Rhonda. She's a soul line dance instructor. And this is Rhonda's Good Feet story. I love dancing, but I had foot pain and hated the fact that I had to sit out a couple dances. But since visiting the Good Feet store and, and, and wearing the arch supports, I definitely have not felt the pain. I am able to dance longer, feel happier. My energy levels have increased. Once that energy gets into you and you're feeling good, double spins. <laughs> Get back out there with arch supports from the Good Feet store. Goddesses, I bring the vitality of sun. And I the sea. I took the kids swimming, hit up the farmer's market, and crushed my sales call. Typical Tuesday. Awaken your inner goddess with Vitafusion's delicious and nutritious gummies. Unwrap new Vitafusion soft shoes, available now. Swing into Fred's Appliance today for our 4th of July celebration and discover unbeatable deals on the largest selection of in-stock get-it-today inventory in our region. Make clean up a breeze with a brand new Bosch dishwasher. Available in three colors, each for just $6.99. These Bosch dishwashers offer quiet operation, advanced water efficiency, and a variety of cycle options to clean your dishes every time perfectly. We sell appliances, only appliances. Did you know that Spokane Hyperbaric Center uses oxygen to reduce pain, inflammation, and swelling? I didn't know that. Did you know that hyperbaric oxygen therapy promotes new blood vessel growth, fights infection, and releases more stem cells from your bone marrow? I didn't know that. Would you like to know if Spokane Hyperbaric Center is the right choice for you? Go to hyperbarichope.com to find out. Spokane Hyperbaric Center gave us hope. And, and now you know. See breaking news in your area or have a story idea? Contact 4 News Now. morning. Your time is now 6.53. Time to get you ready to take on your Tuesday in the morning sprint. Allison Martinez in studio with what a Vista has planned for wildfire season and why it could mean more power outages. And Mark Peterson has a look at a heat wave coming in time for the 4th of July. But first, Barrel, now a Category 5 hurricane has caused one death in the Caribbean islands today. The major storm continues to smash records as it kicks off an exceptionally early hurricane season. It is the earliest hurricane, uh, Category 5 hurricane on record and only the second Atlantic storm of such strength to be recorded this early in July. It's expected to impact Haiti and the Dominican Republic beginning today. Government officials have also activated national disaster response protocols in Jamaica, where water levels may rise five feet above normal tide levels. And coming up next on Good Morning America, Ginger Z is tracking where Barrel is headed next and the extreme heat headed for the West Coast. And that heat is going to be over us in a couple of days. Today, it's going to be perfect summer weather. It's going to be great. We're going to have a few clouds and then sunshine this afternoon. But as that system transitions in Canada, it's going to present, well, some gusty winds, uh, gusts in excess of 20 miles an hour. Currently 57 into the valley, 59 into Post Falls, and we have an official temperature of 55. We are going to warm up. Our high today is going to be sunny and 80, again, with breezy southwest winds later on today. Lawyers for Donald Trump want to challenge the former president's conviction in his hush money trial now that the Supreme Court issued its ruling on presidential immunity. Sources say a letter filed with New York Judge Juan Marchand seeks permission to file a motion to challenge the verdict. If Marchand allows Trump to file a motion, it could delay the former president's sentencing set for next week. Sources say prosecutors did not file the sentencing submission on Monday as expected. 
The district attorney's office has not commented. In May, a jury convicted Trump of 34 felony counts for falsifying business records in his hush money case. A bit of good news for the Biden campaign this morning. After days of trying to break concerns about President Biden's age and viability, the campaign had announced it raised $127 million in June. The campaign says it was the best month of the cycle. It now has $240 million in cash on hand, up from $212 million last month. Nearly two-thirds of June's haul came from grassroots donations. Trump's political operation outraised the Biden campaign in April and May, receiving a flood of donations after his criminal conviction. This summer, Avista has two new strategies it's bringing to the table. Both could mean more power outages, but they are meant to keep you safer in the event of fire weather. First, if a power outage occurs, a line won't automatically re-energize. Instead, an Avista employee will come out to make sure there isn't a fire risk before turning power back on. The second strategy is called a public safety power shutoff. Avista says that if extreme weather conditions are forecasted, like low humidity and strong winds, it will turn off power to protect against fire risk. Think of these as small localized outages instead of mass blackouts. If you have any questions, you can direct them to Avista during their telephone town hall tonight at 6 p.m. A people rallied outside of North Idaho libraries in opposition to a new law that requires libraries to review and remove books from the kids section that are deemed harmful to minors. About 20 people protested in front of the Coeur d'Alene Library yesterday as that law went into effect. There were also rallies outside of Post Falls, Hayden and more North Idaho libraries. Their goal to educate the community on what this new law means. If libraries do not follow this law, they can be sued for $250 per occurrence. Law enforcement is searching for these two women who escaped prison. The Idaho Department of Corrections says Sarah Zumwalt and Katie Buchanan were last seen Sunday night around 8.45 at the prison. They are both convicted of drug offenses in Kootenai County and had around four years left on their sentences. Anyone who knows where they are should call 911. Spokane police arrested a man for a drive-by shooting and assault in a domestic violence incident. The department says Saturday night, 23-year-old Harlan Karras got in an argument with his girlfriend and her family in East Spokane. Police say Karras, from inside a car, fired one shot at people outside the house and then drove away. There were children in the home at the time. The bullet didn't hit anyone. Karras is in the Spokane County Jail on multiple charges. 29th uh, Avenue construction on Spokane South Hill appears to be wrapping up. The repaving project started in April, but take a look at this. All lanes on 29th near the Lincoln Heights Shopping Center are open. The construction caused major congestion and significant delays in that area. But we're not clear yet. 29th is still down to one lane each way from Southeast Boulevard to Arthur west of Lincoln Heights. Hey, we're back with a final check of weather coming up. Right For News Now, we believe you should expect more from local news. Our team is committed to a community conversation and bringing you information you need when and where you need it. America believes in and supports that mission. At Numerica, you'll find money answers for street ballers. Get money answers for you and only you. Learn more at numericacu.com. No matter how he got here, how alone she feels, how they've struggled to support their best friend, What's important is this moment, when they reached out and said, I can't do this alone. And we said, that's okay, we'll figure it out together. If you or a loved one needs support, our trained counselors can help you too. 988, anywhere, anytime. This is our call to inaction, to answer the call of the recliner. We're getting takeout because we've been out all day long. It's the Lazy Boy 4th of July sale. Save 30% on everything. Lazy Boy. Long live the lazy. Taking a live look outside. Yeah, we got some cloud cover. got some blue skies. More blue than yesterday later on. Uh, as we look at our forecast for the next 12 hours, yeah, we're going to warm up quickly. Noon, it's going to be 74 degrees. 79 is a normal high this time of year. But we're going to really cap out at 80 degrees. That's going to be there all afternoon, so be prepared. Um, but again, really nice day. Tomorrow, a really nice day, 82 degrees. Thursday, 4th of July, Independence Day, 87 degrees. Remember, burn bans are in effect. And then we're into the mid to upper 90s for the weekend and beyond.
All right, Mark, thanks so much. And thank you for starting your day with us. We sure appreciate you. We'll see you throughout Good Morning America, which starts right now.